tree section. You should congratulate him, mate, because you've been at the gym 20 minutes and you've done one set on bench. One fucking set. Perfection takes time, buddy. It sure does. Okay. It sure does. Yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, another day of training on the road with Mr. Edward Hall and Play loader Nick Best. <laughs> and Mr. Nick Best. We were getting after some gym pressing, starting out with uh, bench press with the Eddie Hall famous uh, wobbly bar. Is that what you call it? Uh, yeah, Mr. Wobbly. Mr. Wobbly? Yeah, it's named after a certain member of the family. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> so it's Never knew that. <laughs> yeah. It's an eight foot TMI. bar. It's yeah. five kilos heavier than a normal bar. Okay. Another foot wider. It's thinner as well. So it really creates that sort of earthquake effect, especially when you get heavy. It makes things a lot harder. So Mr. Wobbly. Mr. Wobbly, yeah. All right, so we're going to bench with Mr. Wobbly. Let's rock and roll. Knocked over my uh, my shaker bottle. You, your life just fell on the floor, mate. So yeah, you just you knocked it over. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a real shame. Did you do that on purpose? No. Okay. I wish I had done. <laughs> Left here at like 11, 11.15 11, maybe, 11.30. Got back 8. Uh, what time did you go to bed? 2? About 2. I think I went to bed about 2 as well. And uh, back up. We're here in 
7.30. I think we took off for the gym, got here about 8, so definitely not a long, long night of sleep, but we got a uh, crazy filming day today, and this was our only option to make this happen. Otherwise, uh, we would have been filming, uh, filming all day and filming too late to get in here tonight, so... When you're faced with that choice, you just got to you just got to make it happen. Maybe maybe just look in the mirror, and see who we should be talking to. I mean, honestly, I I looked in the mirror yeah. earlier when I woke up. Uh huh. And even though I was tired, did you, did you throw up? No, definitely didn't throw up. Yeah. But even though I was tired, I just like I had to look twice. Mm hmm. Because I looked so good this morning. You look so good. Yeah. It was shocking. It was just like, I thought I was just tired from not sleeping very long, but then I realized that I actually did look that good. Yeah. So. Well, you must be fucking tired because you're obviously very delirious. <laughs> good. Easy. There you go. There you go. Good. Nice. Yeah, I did hear it. Yeah, it's very inflamed. Yeah. That's what you get for an arm wrestling a big gargoyle head. <laughs> yeah. Arm wrestling is not, uh, <laughs> not not great for the elbows, apparently. So, training for world's strongest man, for the best thing you can do, in my opinion, is grab a dumbbell and do side dips. That's the ultimate. Good work, Obi. That's getting close to that Will Strongest Man title every single day, brother. Go get it. Yours? Yeah, let's go. One. Good. Good. Come on, Nick. Two. Let's go. Up. Three. Good. Back, back, back. Good. Not bad. Uh. Ready, Brian, let's go. Are you? Ready to pick this up off your chest when you fail? Wow. <laughs> Not a lot of confidence in that. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to push it down into your face. Oh, that's one of them. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Come on. Good. when you're going to put the bar back and it could literally just come over the top. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite easily. Can I do a ten and a half? Yeah, yeah. yeah man, what do, what are you feeling? What do you think? I think we can go up again quite comfy. Nice. Up. Four. 
Good at Five. Come on. Look, you scared the piss out of me. Okay. I like that torch you, sometimes. You don't... Good. Good. Fuck that one a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, nice. Cake. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not doing that while my head was gone. That's way too much weight. If you would have done that on your face with that much weight, that would have been a dick move. Yeah, that's too much. That's a dick move. Four, three plates, that's okay. Four and a half would have been okay. Yeah, that's the line. Smell that? Smell the victory. Nice. Good one, B. Nice. Yep. Nice. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's really good, good control on a long bar, man. That's what I'm saying. I could see him. It just making him sway. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it makes a big difference. You know I, mean? I, I've just seen Ed train on it. So yeah. I said, hey, let's pull it out. Right. It would take, it would take a, I think that would take a few sessions to actually feel confident. It took, took me years, mate. Luke, Luke trained on it for three years, and he still, even Didn't after like three it. years, was like a shitting dog. Whereas I got it to a point, yeah, but I got it to a point where I could proper stabilize it. Yeah. You, know, and you could feel it fighting, but I was able to stabilize it. That took years. I feel like, I mean, I feel like a few, you know, maybe, maybe months of hitting it, yeah. you would feel that more. But you, I can see how it would make you just so strong. For stabilizers? That's yeah, yeah. freaking huge. That's basically yeah. a dumbbell in a bar. I think it transferred it to overhead very well. It yeah. makes everything so strong around here in yeah, the shoulders. Yeah. So it's a lot of fighting, stabilizing yeah. muscles. No, I've got the lift. Okay. Two, three, up. Let's go, Nick. All you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drive, 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 drive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on finish. Drive, drive. Nice. Sorry, that was. Yeah. Too dangerous, you're yeah, fucking uh, a helicopter. I think if you would have kept it straight, you would have been able to lock yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm not gonna be perfect. Come on, B. Alright guys, so wrapping up the training session here, uh, like like I said earlier, crazy early today, not a lot of sleep, but um, no. unfortunately on the road, this is uh, what happens sometimes, so you just gotta, gotta dig in and make it happen. Uh, I ended up going a little bit heavier than I thought on the uh, on the bench, I think we kind of got, got warmed up and of course, it's always that extra spur having the guys around and uh, Eddie threw on, you know, the five plates there. So I was like, well, I wasn't really going to go for it, but I, I kind of have to now. And it was actually neat. I've seen Ed use that bar a lot in uh, training videos and that type of thing. So it's neat to be able to feel it and actually feel how much it, it uh, wobbles around. I mean, pretty nuts. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. I mean, I decided probably 2014, I needed to make my training harder for myself, so I didn't wear any sleeves, didn't wear any belts. Always wore squidgy shoes and whatever else. So squatted with the bar. And it just creates that earthquake effect. Oh, it's definitely. And it, it, even on benching, as soon as you get up to sort of four, four and a half, five plates onwards, it's just it's like you're in an earthquake whilst you're pressing. Yeah. And it just stimulates those core muscles. And then, once you've trained on that for a couple of years, you walk into a contest with a stiff bar, 
piece of piss, benching, piece of piss, overhead, all the stabilizer muscles are there, like overhead stuff, piece of piss, so that's why I got it and it, and it worked. Yeah, it's a, a very unique bar and uh, I'm, I'm definitely glad that we, glad that we pulled that out because uh, I think you, I mean, you were getting up how many plates on there, six plates? Yeah, I was doing 265 kilo for sets of six. Yeah, that's just just crazy with, with a normal bar and then to throw it on that bar is like just a whole new uh, whole new level. So I'm happy, I'm happy to have felt it. I mean, I would actually like to play with it more because um, I think there is a lot of carryover in what Ed's saying. And we've talked about this type of thing before, making your training harder, you know, uh, doing things in the gym where it's not easy. And I actually, I really enjoy that too, because like Ed said, when you get to the contest, it's easier. And I mean, what's better than that when you get to a contest and something feels easy, that, easy that's supposed to be, supposed to be even harder. And um, a lot of guys don't train that way. They make it as easy as they can in training because they want to put up big training numbers and then they go to a contest and underperform. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely, I think the carryover is there, mm -hmm. you know? And, uh, I mean, you actually told me few years back training for yoke um you were talking with burke about it yeah in the tent in 2014 you train yoke without a belt and that just made me click i was like of course you would yeah. why would you train with a belt because then yeah. you train all year without a belt you're making all your core muscles working twice as hard and then when you get to competition oh sorry sorry you put the belt on and all this all those core muscles are, are sort of working at still 100 percent, but at least they're more secure and your race is going to be better. So you actually taught me that, Brian. Yeah, so, and then you just took it. To and the, I just took it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I got I got a lot of custom bars made, but not like that. So maybe well, now it's time for uh, me to steal one back from uh, from Ed and and make one like that. So. Well, you both gave me an idea. So I can't get access to a bar like that. I'm not going to afford to pay for one, but I do have a deadlift bar. So I'm going to start benching on my deadlift bar and doing some squats on my deadlift bar because yeah. it's really whippy too yeah. and I'll get the same effect out of that so it's a great idea, thank yeah. you Eddie. Cool. Or you could come out and train with me and use mine. Well, I might just end up doing that. Yeah. And that's, that's an idea too, I don't know. <laughs> well, I bet Cooper drives fast so I could probably just drive right out there. <laughs> really quick. A, a really short commute for training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. Uh, well, I think we need to go get showered and get to set for our day of filming, which will be long. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. For now, go out and be great and we'll check you later.